Alright, welcome to this video. Today will be about Notion, which is a note-taking app that's useful whether or not you are a software developer, student, or maybe just someone who wants to take notes. I thought about doing this video because I think Notion is a really great app for taking notes. It's very beginner friendly and is very applicable to many use cases. But one thing I wish I had known earlier was all these shortcuts that I think really speed up the process of note taking. So if let's say you're a student in a lecture and you're taking notes on the fly, I think knowing how to use these keyboard shortcuts will be really helpful in really speeding up your workflow. So in this video, I'll just be running through the main keyboard shortcuts that I use rather quickly because I think they're pretty simple and there are also quite a few shortcuts for editing the cells but I will leave that for a future video if you guys are interested so do let me know in the comment section what other tips and tricks you would like to see related to Notion but if not let's dive right in so first of all the keyboard shortcut I will use most often is the slash command and this is something that most people would know if you click on any empty cell you can see type slash for commands so if you do slash you can insert a simple table just like that and I think something most people won't actually know is that you can actually use slash to insert headers very easily. So rather than doing, let's say like slash a header one or heading one, you can actually just do slash one for a heading of one. You can do you can do slash two or slash three for a heading of two and three respectively. And lastly, you can also do slash for images. So if you do slash image, you can just upload or if let's say you're taking notes from a lecture or a meeting, you can just copy and paste that image right into Notion or drag and drop the image. So that's the first essential shortcut. The second one is using Command N. So Command N is for creating a new page in your workspace. If you just do Command N and create a new page, this page will pop up in your workspace over here. But the one that I really wanted to show you is Command Shift N and that's to create a new window. So Command Shift N and this creates a new window and what I typically like to do with this is to have a reference page on the left and then on the right I will also have a different page maybe if let's say you are here in a new page then you can actually just reference something in the main page on the left and type your notes here on the right so this depends on your use case but for me I find this really helpful and Next, number three is about searching the previously viewed page. So if you do Command P, you can actually see the recent pages that you've visited. So I can just scroll through using my arrow keys. Or if you want to search any kind of notes, you can actually just search for any kind of notes that you have. This is a shortcut I feel that should be used more frequently because a lot of the times that you want to switch between notes, you would probably go to the sidebar here and then search for the notes that you have, which works as well, but if you have a lot of nested pages, then that's gonna be really troublesome to navigate through that. But if you just do Command P, you can actually just search for the note directly if you already know which page you wanna go to. So anyway, if you like the video so far, do give it a like and share it with anyone who might find it useful as well. If you're into editing keyboard shortcuts, do let me know in the comments and I'll probably do a follow-up video on more editing shortcuts in Notion. All right. So that's command P. Number four is about going back to a previously visited page. So this is quite similar to command P, but this will bring you back to the most recent page that you visited. So if I do command square bracket, I will go back to the new page that I created back over here. So if you have a lot of nested pages, let's say you go into new notes here and you do command square bracket, you will go back to the previous page. And likewise, you can go forward using the other square bracket. So pretty useful for navigating between your previously viewed pages. All right, so next number five is about toggling the light mode. So by default, I do like the light mode, but at times if you're working at night, sometimes you might use the dark mode and you can actually toggle this using Command Shift L and this will very easily change the light and dark theme. So I think once you know this keyboard shortcut, then this will be your go-to shortcut for toggling between the light mode. Next is toggling the sidebar. So as you've noticed, you can actually toggle the sidebar by dragging your mouse over here. And sometimes you actually might have it permanent like this. But I think to get more space, I will actually use the command backslash to toggle the sidebar. So sometimes you might maybe navigate to one of the pages over here. And then once you have selected the page, you would do command backslash so that you can have a bigger picture of the node that you're viewing currently. Last but not least, we have option command. This combination of keyboard shortcuts is actually more related to editing in Notion. So this will be a bit of a teaser if you'd like to see more editing shortcuts. But basically, you can do option command with four to create a to-do block. So this really comes in handy when let's say you have typed in, um, let's say to-do one, to-do two, and you want to basically convert all of these blocks into a to-do list then you can just do option command 4 and this will convert all your blocks into a to-do list 
And if you want to change it into a bullet point, you can do option command 5. And option command 7 is a toggle list, which I really like because you can put in as much extra information as you want without cluttering up your page. In the last example here, option command T is just to open and close all the toggle list that you have. So you probably won't use this as much as you would the other shortcuts, but I find it really helpful when I have a lot of toggle lists and I want to see all the content, then I can just do option command T and to clean up everything, I will do option command T to close all of the open toggle lists. So those were the seven essential Notion keyboard shortcuts. Let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite Notion keyboard shortcut? And if you'd like to see more, do like, share, and of course, subscribe. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.